welcome to day five of the yoga at your desk five day challenge oh day five it's the last day i can't believe it it seems to have just gone so quickly and it's been so much fun i really enjoyed it and i hope you have too if you have enjoyed it please comment below and let us know if you haven't enjoyed it then even more please comment and tell us what it was that you didn't enjoy so that we can help to give you what you need we really like to help people. We want to make people have an easier life at work so that work is more fun, life is more fun, you get more done when you have more fun. <laughs> We'd really appreciate as many people as possible having this experience because we know, and I'm sure you know too, that when people feel calm, when they don't have pain in their body, when they're comfortable, that life is so much sweeter. Life is more fun. Today's practice will be to do some twisting to help to release the spine and the upper body, bring some movement into the rib cage, and it helps to actually massage parts of the abdomen too. So that can't be bad. And we will also be doing a really nice meditation. It's a guided meditation. So you can just shut your eyes, sit back, and follow the very simple instructions and the benefits that you'll gain are just immense. Meditation has been the subject of many studies recently and because they can use all this imaging inside the brain and the neuroscientists are just loving how they're finding meditation so powerful. Through thousands of years this knowledge of meditation has been passed down and now the neuroscientists are finding that what was written about the aspects and effects of meditation they're all true and they're finding it now with scientific evidence so it's really helping to back up the movement of meditation it's a great practice and you know Ellen DeGeneres I'm sure you do everybody does she's great isn't she she says that she meditates regularly and I love the way she describes it she describes meditation as like rebooting your brain you know when your computer gets a bit cranky and you have to switch it off and switch it on again? That's what meditation is like. It clears out all your cookies, it clears out all the cash, it gives you a refreshed start. So try the meditation and let us know if you feel it's rebooted your brain and put you in a fresher, clearer space. The first thing we're going to do for a twist is we're going to make sure that the legs are straight and that they stay straight. It's really important to it's keep... Yawning. <sighs> if you yawn or you want to burp or fart <laughs> or any wind moves in the body, let it move. Enjoy what's happening and don't hold back. So we like yawning, we like laughing, we like burping and farting. You get free classes if you fart, unless it really stinks. And then you get you pay a forfeit. So keeping your knees over your ankles, just turn and take the arm of the chair in both hands. Okay, now you're going to look again, turning your head around to look towards the elbow that's behind you. And then when you get there, I want you to start to gently lower the back shoulder and shoulder blade. Of the arm yeah, that I'm so at. the arm that you're looking at. Let the shoulder relax down away from the ear. You might even want to take the hand off. Yeah, that might be. Yeah, and put it, you can put it behind yeah, you. Yeah, yeah very good. good. Yeah, yeah. So put it behind you. And if you put it behind you, then you can start to slide the elbow across the back of the chair as well to take the elbow r around behind you even more. Oh, yeah, I can feel like a thing here. Okay, good. So that will open the front of the arm socket, which if you sit in front of a desk all day, that stays quite closed. So that's a nice. Now breathe into your belly as you inhale and let it inflate. And imagine you get taller. And as you exhale, pull the belly in, pull the sides of the waist in. And imagine you're like a dishcloth and you're being wrung out. You've got a swivelly chair, it's quite difficult to keep your body still. So focus on the feet staying in the same place and the knees staying over the ankles. So the twist is all in the back, the, the bum doesn't move. The, the twist happens around the waist and the base of the rib cage. Let's take a few more breaths here. So you inhale and fill your belly and you exhale and you pull the waist in, pull the belly button in, narrow the body and twist like a dishcloth. And then inhale back to the front. Slowly come back and just notice how that feels. 
or you'll feel sensations around the spine. Sometimes you can kind of feel yourself unraveling mm. as you've come out of a twist, which I quite like. I like to linger on my unraveling <laughs> sensation. Like and then, then we're going to go to the other side. So and do it gently because you'll be very different on both sides. Mm. So gently turn and just take the arm of the chair in both hands and as you get yourself comfortable start taking that back elbow back behind you. You can take the hand behind you so that they start to move across the back of the body. Then lower the back shoulder. This is the one that gives me a bit of chip. Okay, so yeah. don't go too far. That's, that's okay then. That's Good. Fine. So allow that shoulder to just drop. Don't worry about forcing it back. And what I'm going to get you to do is use the hand on the chair to gently pull the other shoulder forward. Perfect. So you can get the same twist in the spine without having the compression of the shoulder prevent you twisting. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. So feel that shoulder relax. And as it relaxes, just let it drop. If it drops back, that's good. If it drops down, that's good. Just allow it to loosen and open and using the other hand, this hand that's in front of you, to guide your body into the twist. I can see that your knees are over your ankles, so you don't need to check. Okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> don't do that, oh, I've done it yeah. already. <laughs> Breathe into your belly while you're there. Be careful, we keep, keep that shoulder soft. And as you exhale, pull the waist in, pull the belly in. Think a bit about that dishcloth feeling. When you're ready to inhale, relax the belly, breathe in and feel yourself get a bit taller. Taking the top of the head towards the ceiling a little bit more. Keeping it soft as you exhale, pull the belly in, pull the waist in, blow out and squeeze a little bit more juice out of that towel. And gently inhale and come back to the centre whenever you're ready. And we're going to do a really, um, it's a simple relaxation, but it's not always easy. Place your hands palm down on your thighs. Why do you always have a smile when you go, but it's not easy? Because it's really simple, <laughs> but it's just so hard to keep doing it. Okay. So there are going to be two key instructions, which keep the tongue soft and to keep the eyes relaxed. Okay. Okay. So when you're ready, just gently close your eyes and feel your feet on the floor, feel the knees, feel your bum in the seat, allow the waist to relax, let the belly button be soft, feel the back of the chair behind you, feel the shoulder blades releasing and loosening and dropping down the back, Feel the elbows get heavy as that happens. And then as the elbows get heavy and the shoulder blades drop, just notice there's a space growing in the front of the chest, just above the heart. And then I want you to notice what your tongue is doing. And I want you to take it off the roof of the mouth, consciously lie it down in the bottom of the mouth. Just let the tongue rest down in the bottom of the mouth and just allow it to keep softening and loosening throughout the whole process. So you've got this heavy, soft tongue. Obviously, if you need to swallow or anything, do that. You don't need to drool. <laughs> but we do want a nice, soft, heavy, relaxed tongue. The other instruction is to imagine a big space behind your eyes. And that space is getting bigger and the tongue is getting heavier and softer. Keep imagining that space behind the eyes and this soft tongue. And allow the teeth to separate a little more. Keep the tongue heavy, big space behind the eyes. And as the teeth separate a little more, notice the jaw begins to relax even more. Relax the chin. And relax the whole line of the jaw from ear to ear. And feel that relaxation spread up 
through the temples of the sides of the hairline. Keep the tongue soft and heavy, big space behind the eyes. And now take your attention to the space between the eyebrows. Tongue is soft and heavy, big space behind the eyes. Elbows are heavy, feet are heavy, shoulder blades heavy. Feel the space between the eyebrows smooth out. Slightly widen, soften, so the skin becomes smoother. Feel that big, heavy, soft tongue and the big space behind the eyes. Let this space between the eyebrows soften and widen. The space behind the eyes soften and widen. Soft, heavy tongue. Bum heavy, elbows heavy, feet are heavy. Belly soft. Big space behind the eyes. So hold in this huge space now behind the eyes in your imagination. Just visualise that space. Keeping the tongue soft and heavy. And we're going to start gently increasing the length of the breath. So breathe out a little bit more than you did last time. Keep the tongue soft and heavy and the space behind the eyes. Breathe out. Let the belly pull back towards the spine again. Keep that tongue soft and heavy, space between the eyes. And then very slowly, breathing in and filling the belly. And let the belly help with the breath so it gets big as you inhale. It gets smaller as you exhale. It's like that balloon inflating as you inhale and deflating as you exhale. This feather underneath your nose isn't moving. The tongue is heavy, big space behind the eyes. The face is relaxed. Head is relaxed. And just take one more deep, slow, long breath. When you're ready, just gently open your eyes. <laughs> I could have easily gone to sleep then. Good. <laughs> but not on my desk, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> so if we wanted to lift the energy before we go back to work, what we can do is we can use the belly breath and we can blow out quickly and feel the belly pulse back. So we can do it, um, you could do like five, a few sets of five. So, okay. but put your hands there so you can feel the belly. And then stop for a minute. And you'll feel a really slow, long breath come in usually after that. And then do it again five times. Pull the belly. That's it, good. And once more. Okay, I want you to do it once more and blink your eyes really fast. <laughs> okay, how are you feeling? Good, let's get on with it. <laughs> Raring to go. Yeah, good, really relaxed. Um, breathing, breathing a lot easier. So if, you, if it's the first time you're doing it and you're struggling, just keep going. Mm -hmm. Good. It's the... The blowing out really helps, and those exercises yeah, felt a lot better today. Good, good, good. Okay. So now it's your turn. And now it's the end of day five. 
please continue to do yoga at your desk whenever you can. These videos are going to be on YouTube forever, so make sure you take advantage and use them. So, yoga at your desk really is a benefit to everybody and anybody. And as you can see, it's not very difficult. You don't have to put your leg behind your head. You don't have to be able to tie your legs up in knots. There are some very simple, very basic things that you can do in your chair that will just make you feel a whole lot better. And I hope you've enjoyed today's twisting and the meditation that we did. And on Valentine's Day, we have a special free download our Kindle book day. The book is called Companies Can Do Yoga Too. You can try the um, website address companiescandoyoga2.com. You can download it to your Kindle device and you can download it to your smartphone, to your computer, to your iPad, to your tablet, whatever device you use, you can download this version of Companies Can Do Yoga Too for free on Valentine's Day. Because guess what yoga does? Yoga helps to protect your heart. It helps you to open your heart and it helps you to have compassion. Compassion for yourself and compassion for others. And it can really kickstart your love life too. So use yoga to have a bigger heart. And on Valentine's Day, from my heart to yours, receive the gift of the free download of Companies Can Do Yoga Too. Thank you.